Hello, hello everyone. I want to do a sermon this morning. Uh, I'm going to be in Philippians 3, 13 and 14, I believe, in the King James Version of the Bible. And uh, I should have already turned over here to it, but let me get to it and we'll, we'll start. All right, it's uh, Philippians 3, 13 and 14. It said, Brethren, I count not myself to have apprehended, apprehended, but this one thing I do, forgetting those things which are behind and reaching forth unto the things which are before, I press towards the mark for the prize of the higher calling of God in Christ. So uh, he's reaching forth. He's not looking behind. And he presses for the mark for the prize of the higher calling. Um, that's what we need to do is press, uh, for the, for the things that we need and want, but need from God. Uh, the way I kind of look at it and approach, approach it is, um, uh, I didn't ask to come in this life. I didn't ask to be here. Uh, that I can remember, that I know anything about. I was automatically uh, entered into the, if you want to call it the game of life. I, I didn't ask to be there. But now we're here. And now what are we going to do? Uh, since we're here and we're entered and we're in this, we need to keep our mind and focus in the game. And on what we're doing, um, we don't need to aimlessly just aimlessly just walk through life. Uh, we can't go through life aimlessly anymore. We're in the Corona COVID nineteen pandemic, uh, and if we could have the luxury of aimlessly walking through in the past, we don't now. We don't have that luxury now. We have to. Uh, keep our mind on what we need to be doing. Um, I always think that when when uh, come to church, when we cross the threshold of the church, we're on the clock. We're on God's time. Uh, really and truly, we're on God's time every minute. This is time he lent to us. Um, it's not what's before in front of us or behind us is as important as what's within us. And we've got to to uh, keep our head in, 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 in the game on what we need to be doing. Uh, we need to have a plan and we need to execute that plan. Uh, I think before we go to church, we have church tonight, it's Wednesday, and we're, I'm planning on going to church tonight. I'm not... Uh, saying have something made up for tonight a testimony or a sermon or anything like that well, what I am saying is be prepared uh, be prayed up be read up um, be studied up before you get there and uh, be the best you can be when you're there uh, brother uh, John Daniel Stapler used to have a a saying he said, do your best and God will do, will do the rest. That's what I'm talking about this morning is doing your best so that God can do the rest. Um, we need to have our sights set. I know these hunters, uh, maybe they'll go out west or something on a hunting trip and they'll uh, make sure that their sights on their gun are set right. And we certainly want to do that. Um, at the beginning of the pandemic, I told you in other uh, videos, I think that um, that I wasted more time than I am right now. But I saw during this thing we wouldn't get to go to church at that time very much. When we did, they would we could only have nine people uh, having four or five services on Sunday to try to get as many people in as we could. And uh, so uh, we 
and, and we've took far too much for granted. Uh, so I think that we ought to uh, have a have a just like today. I'm going to Huntsville, planning on it, and I don't exactly know where this place is that I'm going to be going to, but I've got a GPS, and if I listen to that voice. Uh, we have a GPS, and if we listen to that voice, he'll tell us the turns. Uh, particularly, you know, the GPS, the lady, it's a lady on mine usually, but the, the GPS, um, she doesn't tell me what the weather is. She don't tell me uh, if it's raining or not, or going to rain or not going to rain. Uh, she don't tell me every, uh, every move. But when I get close to a turn, she'll say, you know, one mile ahead, turn right, or whatever she says. And God don't tell us every turn, but he will keep us informed on the major turn, turns. Um, I think that before we go to church, like I said, we ought to pray before we go to church. I plan, I've, been, I've already been trying to pray about this service. We had a service Sunday night, and since then I've been trying to pray about this one coming up. Maybe uh, maybe somebody didn't need as much help in the Sunday night service, but they may need it tonight, and I don't want to let them down. Um, so I've told you in the past, and, and I think I might be wearing it out and maybe boring you or maybe even um, you, you may not even like it. But I I try to get up this morning, every morning I try to get up, I try to get me a, a quote or a story or a scripture or all three of those so that my mind doesn't wander aimlessly uh, and to get off track. It's about staying on track. We have to, we have to stay on track. Uh, someone mentioned Sunday at our church that they recommended us reading one chapter a day in the Bible, and that's very good. But I think if we read three chapters a day, we could read, read the Bible through in a year. So that's what I would say for us to do. Um, get your quote, like I said, a scripture, a story, so that you can get your mind on track. Because it is so easy to get your mind off track. I mean, you can be going down the road praying to dear Jesus. You could be going down the road praying, and you see a billboard. And it's got a a soft drink on it and you think I'm thirsty and uh, I need to stop down here I think they got I could get me a drink down here the best price uh, and besides I need gas in the car so I'll stop down here and you get to thinking about that and your mind went off the scriptures uh, it it's, it's hard to keep on track and our mind doing what we need to do uh, I've said this on a video before, you know, going down the road, you can get an education, you can learn a language, you can learn the Bible. Uh, so that's kind of, they call it windshield time, idle time, but you don't, it don't have to be. You can, uh, when I used to work for Carnation Company, I worked for them for 20 years and, <coughs> excuse me, uh, I had tapes then. I went to a little Bible bookstore in Decatur on my route. And it was, a, like I said, a Bible bookstore. And I put on layaway these tapes, Bible tapes. Alexander Scorby was the reader. And uh, I got them off and I put them in there. Now we got CDs and I put them in there. And whenever I'd play, you know, it would read a chapter, I'd take a Sharpie and I'd make a mark. Next time, another mark. Next time, another mark. Next time, another mark. And then I'd, I'd, I'd go through it like that and make a fence. And there's no telling how many times that I read, went through the Bible on the tapes. But I didn't retain as much because it's not like sitting down and reading. But it uh, it's, it's better than keeping letting your mind go idle. So... Uh, I guess the main thing that I, the theme of my uh, message today is uh, stay in the game, keep in the game, um, 
and don't idle your time away. Uh, don't aimlessly go through this thing. Uh, maybe today or tomorrow, whenever you can get started, write down somebody you want to help. And I'm going to tell you this story, and then maybe I'll be through. Uh, years ago, I wanted, I, I try to ask for something that nobody else, I think nobody else is asking him right at that present time. So if it comes to me, then I'll know that, it, uh, you know, he was listening. So I asked the Lord to let somebody call me and tell me that they love me. And they, this, this brother did about two weeks after I originally started praying that, and he didn't know exactly what to say. But he didn't need to say anything. All he needed to say was that I love you. Is there somebody that God wants you to call? And you say, I don't know what. I, I, let me prepare me a speech so that I, no, just, just uh, if you can't think of anything else to say, just say I love you. That might be what they're praying for anyway. So uh, uh, we're trying to figure out too many reasons why we can't when we need to uh, see the possibilities that's in this thing. I, I wanna I wanna tell you with my heart uh, that we don't have any time to waste. I made one the other day on redeeming the time and we're running out of time and I sure don't wanna waste any more time than I have in the past. I want to keep on track. So May God bless you is my prayer. I care about you. I love you. I give you my f telephone number is 256-508-4410. Um, and if you need me, you call me. Until the next time we do this, may God bless you.